Hi, my name's Luke Donnan. I'm the subject coordinator for Pod 213, which is a um, second year subject in the uh, podiatry course. Now, what I've been asked to do is just give a little rundown of a few of the things I've tried with this subject to help enhance that uh, on, um, student engagement in the online space. Just to give you a brief snapshot of what this subject is, it's a completely internal subject, so there is no DE component to this one. Um, it's a clinical subject with um, a theoretical component which has been traditionally delivered through um, standard face-to-face -face lectures. The last offering we thought we'd try something a little bit different and deliver that theoretical component as, a, uh, as an online thing and it seems to have worked reasonably well. A couple of things we tried as part of this process I'll just have, give you a, uh, a quick look at. The first one I'd like to show you is um, accessibility for the students. So I try to make things as easy as possible and have everything there in one spot for them. So if they click on the particular week's activities, which is all very straightforward, I keep everything on one page. So they get their PowerPoint presentation, which most students have asked me to um, put up every week. As they roll through, there's an instruction video though that I provide at the start of uh, every week's material just to show them what they should be doing. Um, rolling on through, there's the, the standard presentation. That might be a recorded PowerPoint presentation, a Prezi or whatever. And typically I load them up to uh, YouTube for them and, and provide the links. And then moving on through again, I'll have activities which they can complete and a discussion board at the end. Now just to show you through a couple of these things in a little, um, little bit more detail, I mentioned the instruction videos that we provide at the start of every week. So. What that entails is me taking a screenshot of me wandering through this particular um, week's activities. So what I do, it's only ever a 45 second to a minute video. And what it does, it goes through and just shows me waving the cursor over, you need to click on this, um, I want you attending to this, I want you emphasizing something else. Um, once you've done that, you go to this particular link and it just shows them exactly what they need to be doing as part of the process. Um, I find technology makes me a bit nervous in terms of you will lose a few students. So if I keep the instructions as clear as possible, I find that tends to work really effectively. The other thing I mentioned too was the discussion forums which we use. So I'll provide weekly activities and then at the end we'll have a uh, discussion board which they can access. So the way I run these is the opt-in discussion board. So it means you can't actually see what everyone else has written until you make a post of your own. And this is made very clear in week one that this is how the discussion boards are going to run. So once they know that, they'll make their, or they'll have a, um, an attempt at the activities, they'll post their response and then uh, put them up there for everyone else to see. Now, another thing I do with this is I make a point of responding to absolutely everyone's posts. So, um, if we have a look at this one here, just for example, so students posted responses to the questions given and I've given a couple of sentence re replies saying you've done this well, you've slightly misinterpreted this, you could improve on something else. Just to give them an idea what's going on. I find it also shows value that um, they're making the effort to contribute, it just shows them that I'm making the effort to read what they're saying and actually um, give them a response. So. It gives them a little bit more connection with the subject because I'm uh, trying to uh, stay as engaged with them as possible. Anyway, there's a couple of things that I've used along the way. Um, it's, uh, it's working well for me. I'm sure there's a number of other ways we could approach these, but um, if anyone's got any queries as to how I've done these things or, or why I've done them, I'm more than happy for anyone to uh, get in touch and I can have more of a chat with you about that. Thanks. For